Heartbroken yet unbroken. I just love that title. It's always nice when authors play with words to capture our imagination. That's a novel you need to get your hands on and read. Well, up next, the Nigeria Prize for Literature, the biggest literary prize in Africa. Ah, wow. 11 writers have been long-listed for the big prize. Usually after the long list, three are shortlisted, and then one ticks away the big prize. I keep saying the big prize. What is it? 100,000 US dollars. Ah, that's massive. But it's not just a prize. The, the Nigeria Prize for Literature has grown in reputation, has grown in esteem. And it's such an honor for any writer to win that prize. It's not just the money. It, the doors the prize opens. I mean, it's just a stamp, a stamp of approval, of authority, of expertise on whoever wins that prize. Well, we were there when 11 of these long-listed writers were hosted by Cora and the NLNG at the annual book party prior to announcing the three shortlisted writers. Enjoy this. It's the 15th edition of the Committee of Relevant Arts, Cora Nigeria Prize for Literature, NPL Book Party. This year's edition marks the 20th anniversary of consistency on the part of the Nigerian Liquefied Natural Gas Limited in celebrating Nigerian authors. Following a call for submission in February, 163 entries were received and 11 authors were eventually longlisted. The Cora NPL Book Party is annually organized to celebrate the 11 long-listed authors. In no particular order, the 2024 long-listed books and authors include A Father's Pride by Ndidi Chiazo and Emmo, Bode's Birthday Party by Conifestus Olani, Grandma and the Moon's Hidden Secret by Jimoke Verissimo, Mighty Might and Golden Jewel by Henry Akubuiro, and Risi Recycled the Dustbin Girl by Temilolua Adeshino. Others include The Children at the IDP Camp by Tubosu Taufik, The Magic Jalabia by Ayo Oyekun, The Road Does Not End by Familoni Olubumi, The Third Side of a Coin by Hygienus Ekwazi, Village Boy by Anyete Usen, and Wishmaker by Peter Umezurike. As usual, the dance troupe are here to welcome authors, organizers, and guests. Unlike previous editions of the Blue Party, the troupe here are children, which obviously commemorates the genre of the year, children's literature. <laughs> In 2004, the NLLG inaugurated the Nigeria Prize for Literature to celebrate Nigerian authors with a grand prize of $100,000 US dollars given to the overall winner, making it the biggest in Africa. At this year's edition, some of the children present read from the long-listed books. I will roll up my sleeves to see that our school fully participates in the cultural fiesta. We are to come up with a cultural dance and other relevant cultural activities, so our school will be well represented. It was such a forceful, strange wind. The children clutched to each other tightly to resist the powerful gust of the wind. As I was helpless, they watched as bright sparkles of colored light escaped from Anza's Jalabia for half a minute. When I saw Moshod, he grabbed me by the ham and dragged me to the side of the road. Under a small tree. What happened to you yesterday? He barked. Why did you run away like that? I, I saw that man. Which man? 
I've called you more than 10 times. Even though she scolds me, she sounds croaky. I stay at my feet, though I feel relieved that she has been able to get up. Maybe she will still go to the market. Should I mention that I fought with Tansi? Mother will be mad. She has warned me to stop fighting. Weeks after the Max men invaded our school, normally she returned to Alanji Junior Secondary School. A team of policemen who visited our school today tried to calm things down. They addressed us. There are no public holidays on Mondays. We repeat, there are no public holidays on Mondays. After school, Arike hurries home just to hear Grandma sing a praise song. Arike, my child, a child with wisdom, a child with riches, a priceless child. Arike, a child with a crown. Arike, Arike, she glows in wisdom, she glows in riches, she glows in joy. She glows like the radiant moon all over the earth. Choosing to write for children resonates with the level of passion offers her for youngsters. I believe the preteen years are the years when children actually try out those um, drugs and the rest. So the book was written to address that and then um, prevent the entry into that stage of experimentation. So Reason Recycle the Dustbin Girl is an environmental or eco-friendly book and is also a tech, uh, a technology conscious book that teaches children how to be custodians and ambassadors of the environment. It also teaches them to be custodians and environment of technology. I decided to do a book about village children that will be an inspiration, an aspiration for them. There are so many village children even in the city right now, maybe as houseboys. I was a houseboy. When my kids were growing up, I needed the kind of book that they would read and I will read and we will discuss. You see, the kind of books I found that met that criterion were foreign books, essentially. And you know the saying, if you are looking for the kind of book to read and you can't find it, then write it. We need to make children as well as adults to understand that the gospel of kindness is quite important to everybody. <laughs> Organizers of the book party speak on the uniqueness of this year's edition of the Nigeria Prize for Literature. As much as the prize is 20 years this year, what makes it most exciting for us from the NLNG side, sponsors, as a company with 35 years of incorporation in, in 2024, we've been producing LNG for 25 years. This is most exciting that what represents the beginning of life children. So this is children's literature this year. What a better time to celebrate children's literature and to look at a new beginning or refresh the prizes and as any as an organization also look at ourselves and say look mm, why do people like us? Uh, what we want to be seen or known for in the next maybe 25 years or 30 years. So all of this put together year of celebration for us. If you are not actually building a book industry if you are not begin, if you are not engaging someone at the age of six, seven, you know, I mean that's if you are if all you are doing is to assemble your twenty-seven year old, your fifty-five year old selves and sitting in a room, who, who, who are you trying to develop? Participants of the book party speak on the impact the long-listed books will have on the educational system of Nigeria and lessons from the books. The stories for children this year. It's very significant because, of course, it explores, it makes us go back to that period and then begin to think about how life should be looked at from, a, from their perspective. Influence the Nigerian education positively. Children have more books, more options to read. The children are learning new vocabulary. They have more things to play around with as against just spending time on social media. These are quality books and we can just tell that the future is brighter with the books. All the stories coming together, they show one theme, which is Nigeria's pride. In a few weeks, three offers will be shortlisted from the 11 offers and the winner will finally be announced at the Grand Award Night in October.
Mm, suspense is high. Three will soon be announced, and of the three, from the three, one will become the winner of the Nigeria Prize for Literature 2024. Stay tuned because we'll be following that story right up to the very end. This is where we have to end the show today. As always, we'll be delighted to get your feedback through any of our social media platforms displayed on your screen. My name is Olakunle Kasumo. Remember, one great book can change your life. Bye-bye.